What's up, you guys? Welcome to Integration Be Training for Advanced. This is part 3.4, where we'll be doing some advanced manipulation with ninja substitution. So this is where the tricky stuff begins with ninja substitution, all right? So let's go ahead and get started with some examples. So we have this first integral here. How do we go about this? So it's a little hard to see. Uh, let me actually kind of let alpha equal x cube just for a moment, just for a moment. So alpha here, this is literally what we have, right? But what happens if we conjugate it, right? What happens if we conjugate it? But how are we going to conjugate it? How do we conjugate it, actually? We're going to conjugate it to like this. And then minus alpha. So what happens is we'll end up with this squared minus alpha squared. And then here we have 1 plus alpha squared uh, plus 2 minus alpha. This gets cancelled out. And so we get 2 plus 2 over here. Okay? Alright, so that's what's going on. And so when we conjugate that, now that we know, now that we did this whole work, we will have, let's see, this is 1 minus x cubed plus x to the power of 6, right? And then we have the whole thing uh, turned out to be 1 plus the square root of 1 plus x to the power of 6 dx. So this is what we have. Okay. This is, this is literally what we have here. Now, I'm going to take this whole portion away. Okay. So now what? Now, notice that we have something a little suspicious. This is sus, and this is very sus. This is very, very sus. Everything else is an even function except this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't, this isn't ninja substitution. What what do you notice? Let me let me rewrite this out for you. This two, I'm just gonna put it at the back or at the front. Let me rewrite this. What is this? What is this? This is symmetry. Notice that here, that's an odd function. And this is an even function. Right? Again, let's not overcomplicate. But this is this is this is this is just evil. <laughs> right? This whole thing, this this is zero, and this is just one. Right? This whole integral is equal to one. Okay? Terrible. Terrible. Okay, I just want to let you know this. Some people they do u equals negative x, where they just let this be negative, and then they do some algebra Olympiad stuff with their magic. But um, but the symmetry is it is very difficult to see, uh, very difficult. But I just want to throw this at you, uh, just because uh, I think it's worth being aware of. So whenever you see something like this, you could maybe let alpha x cube and then try to conjugate something maybe. But other than that, this was nasty. This was this was all cruelty. Okay. Do you remember hyperbolic trig? I really hope you do. I really hope you do. 
So, here, I think I wrote this for, yeah, this, this is, this integral is written for Stanford Math Tournament Integration B. And this is where we apply ninja substitution. But first, what, what is, what even is this, right? To easily see what's going on, we could rewrite this. as this is, if you remember, 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x. Aha! Uh -huh. And if we apply ninja substitution, we get the other way around. I'm sorry, this should be a 3. Power of 3. Right? We get the other way around. This becomes negative secant square and then the denominator just it stays, stays the same. Now if we add it together, add it together, they cancel out, right? When we add it together, we just get left with secant squared. And this two cancels out, and by symmetry, we're just left with 2 secant square of x dx. Okay? And then this is actually very easy. It's a simple basic integration. 2 tangent of x from 0 to pi over 3. This gives us 2 root 3 as our answer. This one is also a little difficult to see. Right? Where do we even go about this? So, I see that we have a cinch. Uh, hmm. Ah, here's my idea. My idea is what if, if we do, we have e to the x, right? And of course, this is an even function, so this won't be bothered, right? But, notice, when I do a, u, uh, a ninja substitution, I'll get plus e to the negative x, which would equal, see, cinch square plus two, then I'll get something like cosh. And maybe this is a u substitution integral. Ooh, and that's what we're gonna do, okay? So, let u equal negative x, and I get e to the negative x, this stays the same, right? It's an even function. And then we add these two together. We get, we technically get uh, two cosh, actually. This is two times cosh. That two cancels out. It's two dx, okay? All right, cool. Now we can simply let u equal cinch of x. Then this will give us a negative infinity, cinch of negative infinity. Uh, if you don't remember, cinch is e to the x minus e to the negative x over two. If you plug in infinity, we get infinity. I'm sorry, no, if we plug in negative infinity, uh, that's zero minus e to the infinity, negative infinity. Aha, so we do get a negative infinity here. And then same goes with infinity, right? Okay. And now, cosh, that's du. Now we have u squared plus 2. Okay. So now that we have this, this is very simple. Right, we know how to handle this. This is actually to uh, um, not tanch. I'm sorry. This is inverse tangent of u over root two from zero to infinity. I'm just I just did symmetry in my head, and so now this whole integral 
It's pi over root 2. Let me kind of box that. There you go. Much nicer. So the answer is pi over root 2. Oh god, what is this? Okay, don't freak out. <coughs> don't freak out. Let's just, um, let's see. We have a, a lot of inverse tangents e to the x. And I notice there's something sus about these bounds. Okay, let's try a ninja substitution. And we can easily see that when we do that, uh, the only thing that gets affected is the bottom. e to the negative x plus pi over 2 plus 1. Here, this is just inverse tangent e to the negative x plus 1, right? And that's it. Okay. But now what? What do we do now? So th th there's too much going on. Let me abbreviate. Let's dummify the, the functions, right? Let, let me use purple. Let a equal inverse tangent of e to the x. And let b equal inverse tangent of e to the negative x. Then let's remind ourselves that a plus b is equal to pi over 2. So let's go ahead and add these two integrals together. Now, the numerator is the same. So let's go ahead and factor that, right? Let's go ahead and factor that out. Then what we have is 1 over a plus 1 plus 1 over b plus 1. It's a lot to take in. Okay. Again, we're dumbifying our functions just to make the process faster. All right. Now, if we simplify this, when we simplify this, we get a plus 1, b plus 1. This is a plus b plus 2. And then a plus 1 times b plus 1. This is a, b plus a plus b plus 1. Aha, but wait a minute. Remember that a plus b is pi over 2. So notice what we have here is we have a, b plus pi over 2 plus 1, which cancels out. And over here, we have pi over 2 plus 2. So now we're left with just pi over 2 plus 2, which is actually very nice. This half and 1 minus negative 1, this just cancels out. So technically, our answer for this integral is pi over 2 plus 2. That is our solution. All right? Okay. Get used to dumbifying functions. It's very crucial. It's, it's going to be a mess. It will be terrible to keep rewriting ta inverse tangent of e to the x constantly. So don't be afraid to dummify your functions. You'll definitely beat your opponent at a very fast time. Okay? All righty. And that is it. That is our last integral. That's pretty much it for ninja substitution. So, uh, very tricky, but definitely get used to it. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overuse it. Uh, be aware of symmetry, right? Just because we have this bounds doesn't always mean that we might have ninja substitution. Don't overlook that there is symmetry going on. Okay? All right. So hopefully that is helpful. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.